Hey, this is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to take a look at five Android newsreaders. Now, these newsreaders take different approaches. Some of them are more strict RSS, and some of them are kind of global feeds of news items that might be of interest to you based on topic. First, we're going to take a look at one of the ones I've been using the longest, and that's called Feeder. This one sells for $1.99 on the Android market, and I've found that it's actually worth spending some money on, especially in the old days when Google didn't have their own newsreader and there were not many good choices. It's attractive looking. It pulls the icon of the site, as you can see here. It supports portrait and landscape mode. And this integrates with Google Newsreader, or you can manually add your own RSS feeds. And the presentation is quite attractive. Of course, it does depend to a certain extent on what the site is pushing for their information. So say we click on Engadget over here, we have a listing of bullets of their news items. And if you tap on something, it opens up right in line, so you really don't have to hit the back and forward buttons to go through. And if you want to read more of it, you can hit the Mobilize button to see the mobile version. You can do full screen, or you can go to the actual website. And you can share it. So this is pretty much a basic RSS news reader. It's not much for the social networking and that kind of thing, but it's great for getting information in line in an attractive way. And we'll take a look at our own over here. And if we hit open, it'll open up right in the web page. If we go back to that, and you want to take a look, you hit mobilize. I'll go through Google's mobile view. Probably something you really don't want to do for most news feeds. You're going to want to see the pictures and all that good stuff. So that's Feeder. It's $1.99. It's available on the Android market. Very attractive presentation. Very fast. And you can control how often it syncs or if it syncs at all in the background. And it has notifications to let you know that there are new feeds. And if you don't want notifications, you can turn those off too. Next, while we're using the Nexus S for our demo here, we'll take a look at Google's own Google Reader. This is very late to market, but hey, it's free and it actually works quite well with obviously Google's own news feed. So if you sync up your news feeds with Google Reader, this is a good choice. You can, you can have the favorite icons over here of the websites that you're following. Take a look at our own. And you can star things, you can make notes, you can sort. You can like, you can share via Google, and so on. Again, yeah, it's fast, it's efficient. There aren't many settings here in terms of refresh and all that kind of thing, but it's a solid basic RSS news reader. And again, it's free, and it's called Google Reader, available on the Android market. Next, we're going to take a look at something a lot more flashy using the Dell Street. So Pulse Reader is well suited to a large display because you can see it's, it's highly graphical. And this is something that was popular on the iPhone as well. It was brought over to Android. So all of our free feeds here are basically photo-based if the feed supports it. Now, some feeds do, some feeds don't have inline images. And in New York Times US, for example, doesn't push images inline, nor do we. Others do. So it's very pretty. Again, this syncs with Google Reader. Or you can manually put in your own feeds. And when you're looking at an individual feed, you can swipe sideways inside the feed. So the UI is very clever. In fact, you can even put Facebook feed in here if you want. So I'll we'll just pick an article here, and that drops down beautifully. And then you see the beginning of the article over here. And then you can scroll up and down. And this is social networking aware, so you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, and so on. So definitely one of the prettiest. If you're more into pictures and words for your initial presentation. And the speed's pretty good, despite the graphical nature. You can set update intervals for this guy as well. And it does work in portrait mode, too. So definitely a popular one. This is built into the Dell Streak 7. We're using the Streak 5 here. Apparently T-Mobile likes it just that much. Next, we're going to take a look at a new product called Your Version. 
Now your version has been around for Android smartphones for a while, but they just came out with the tablet edition. Now the tablet edition does require a 1024 by 600 pixel minimum display. So we're using the Samsung Galaxy Tab. The uh, Dell Streak 7 has a lower resolution, for example, so you won't be able to install this version. This is a different take on news reading. This is not strictly just an RSS reader. This is really all about topics, which is really great for news discovery. I mean, we all have our favorite places that we look for news every day, but sometimes there are other sites and sources that have lots of interesting stuff on a given topic. So here you can enter your keywords, things that you're interested in. For example, I have Android as one. And then you've got the tabs up here to easily switch between all kinds of stuff, news, blog posts, web pages in general, Twitter feed information, and videos on a subject. So it, again, it's fairly graphical and, and very attractive, and it does pick up from a wide variety of sources here. Sometimes we get things that aren't quite what you would expect. Say, for example, you're looking at iPhone, you're going to see some things from the Motorola Zoom because everybody's talking about how that competes with the iPad. But overall, it makes a great deal of sense. We've got one for the Dell Streak here. So you can see there's a lot of stuff about the Streak 10 that was just talked about, and the Dell Streak 7 is new, and even the Streak 5 here. So we haven't picked any sources here. This is all auto picked, but here's our Dell Streak 5 running Android Froyo update. And you can choose to watch this via whatever browsers you have installed or directly via YouTube, and we'll pick the browser. We could have just picked it up directly into YouTube, but actually it's launching into YouTube anyway. So there you have it. So you can see here, this is also a, a fast and responsive product. Of course, the Galaxy Tab itself is fast, and it's a great way to discover new stuff, honestly. And I highly recommend it, and it's, it's free. And it does, as you can see, work in landscape mode, which makes an awful lot of sense. Oh, another thing to mention here, we'll just pick something. It's also very socially where you can Twitter, you can Facebook, you can like, you can email, whatever it is that you're reading. Now, in contrast, here's a U version for smartphones. You, you lose that really neat side tabbed and top tabbed UI, but it's still a useful product. We're showing this on the HTC Inspire 4G here, and here's again all of my keywords that I'm interested in looking at, and we'll just pick the Dell Streak again for comparison since we've been looking at that. And this is what you see here. And yes, this one does run in both portrait and landscape modes. And you tap on something, and again, you've got all the handy social networking stuff right here, and the ability to hop right to the web. And that basically opens you up to the news article as presented on the web page. So that's your version for smartphones. Again, as with the tablet version, this is really great for news discovery. This is not really primarily for looking at your favorite RSS feeds. This is about having an application that pulls all sorts of web pages, twi tweets, videos, and stuff on your favorite topics, and you're, you're bound to pick up some stuff that you wouldn't have found otherwise. And lastly, we're going to take a look at NewsRob. NewsRob has been a perennial favorite with folks, and it's a lot like Feeder. It's pretty much a straight RSS news reader, and you can sync with your Google Reader feeds, or you can add your own. Kind of a very basic interface. Personally, I think Feeder is more pretty. Um, this is the free version, which says ads at the bottom. If you want the full pay for version, it's around $2.70 now on the market. So it's a little bit more than Feeder at $1.99, but nothing that's going to bankrupt you. So you have basic stuff here, and you can see how many unread articles you have. You can tap on that, and there's your presentation. <laughs> and there are hints about waiting for it to refresh and sync. Portrait and landscape mode again, and if they're inline pictures, you will see them. Tap on something, and you get the full view of that particular article as available depending upon what the site is feeding. So 
something more basic here with the New York Times. They don't provide a whole lot of stuff in their feed, so you're not going to see all that much. And you can star something as your favorite. And you can press and hold on the title bar to show in your browser. Very handy for those feeds that have abbreviated content. This one also can be set to update on intervals. So you can have it running in the background if you want to keep you up to date, or you can wait and just hit refresh when you go in. So it's just launched the web browser there now, and we've got the full article. So that's News Rob. So there you've got five of the top Android news readers. You've got News Rob, the last one we just looked at, which is a strict RSS reader. Feeder, also a strict RSS reader with a very pretty user interface, both sync with Google Reader, or you can add your own RSS feeds. We have Pulse right here, for those of you who love the pretty graphical approach. And we've got your version in the tablet and smartphone versions. The tablet version, highly recommended and free. And of course, Google's own free Google Reader. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and these are Android Newsreaders.